Open a new Windows application. Yeah, we use three text box controls for entering number, name, and address respectively. And we have two radio button controls for selecting gender field and date time picker for selecting a date. And we also use a control called numeric up down for entering the age values. Well then, go to Solution Explorer and click Form 2. Here we have six text box controls to display all the information about the particular student based on the search key value. If you want to display information about the particular student, then enter the student number in the text box and press the search button. It will then fetch all the information about the student based on that number. To store and retrieve values, we need database table. Next, we're going to discuss how to create a database and table. Well then, let's see how to create a table in SQL Server. Open an SQL Server Enterprise Manager Wizard. Click and expand the Microsoft SQL Server node. Also, expand its subnodes as well. Now then, right-click on the Table icon and click the New Table option. It will open a new table wizard. Enter the first field as number and its data type as INT. Next is name with var car or V-A-R-C-H-A-R as a data type. Similarly, enter all the fields with its constraints and length. Finally, give the table name as student, and then click OK. Now we have created a table named student with six fields. So then, let's move to our application. 